What is occurring, everybody? It's been a while since I made a video. It is Kaya here. The reasons the ANC would want to defend, defend its right to sing the songs, kill the farmer, kill the boar, are completely understandable and completely legitimate. You know, the people who were under oppression when this song was sung or was composed. Now, this song came into being because of that. Had there been no apartheid, no brutality against the peoples of color, the song would never have had a reason to exist. It would have been completely unnecessary, as I suppose as unnecessary as knickers are on Britney Spears. The system created an unbearable anger. So it composed and, and conducted the song. It, it could also be argued that apartheid should in fact be credited with the creation of the song. <clears throat> So, uh, with the new dispensation, we became masters of our, own, of our own fate. In 1994, when Nelson Mandela became South Africa's first democratically elected president, we became free. Now, since we claim to be a free people, if we are truly free, why should we continue singing a song as if we were still oppressed? To continue singing the songs, these songs, is a further oppression of the people. It is completely irresponsible, for it serves to tell them that they are not yet free. That's what the that song says to me. In his inauguration speech in 1994, Nelson Mandela said, The time for the healing of the wounds has come. The moment to build bridges. That divided, the chasm that divided us has come. The time to build bridges has come. The song does not heal and it does not build any bridges that divide us. If anything, it in fact widens them. You know, Napoleon said that um, a leader is a dealer in hope. But singing this song, Julius Malema does not act as a leader. The song points us to a system and to a time gone past. A leader points people towards hope, not despair, possibility, not destruction, a bright future, not a bleak past. As Steve Biko put it in his book, uh, in his uh, Black Consciousness paper, we cannot be conscious of ourselves and yet remain in bondage. That song serves to tell them that they are in bondage. It says, let us be angry at something that has already been overcome. We all know that that song did not literally mean kill the farmer. It simply meant defeat apartheid, death to apartheid. Why I was singing it now when apartheid has in fact died? It should not be banned either, but it should not be signed. Those are my views. Make some respect, everybody.